Hey guys, we're here with the Phantasm Kite Range. We want to take you through each of these foils, talk about a little bit about their construction, what they're great for, and which foil is going to be right for you. Now we're going to run you through the carbon construction. Um, one of the most important pieces in this kit is actually the mass. It's one of the hardest things to manufacture to get stiffness, torsional stiffness, um, a reasonable cost, and quality. And maybe Fox, you can tell us a little bit about the components that go into this thing that make it so magic. Yeah, absolutely. So this is our 12K dual carbon core mast. And what's really amazing about this is we use super high modulus carbon on the outside, but really the magic actually happens on the inside. So you have a dual carbon core. So basically we have a carbon I-beam that runs length from the, from the foot all the way to the pedestal. And that's going to provide tons and tons of stiffness. That, that inside part is also built of a 10K carbon weave. So it's basically two different types of carbon all laid up with a carbon I-beam that basically provides insane stiffness, which on the water is just going to give you more performance. Yeah, I mean, for me, the most important thing in a mast is, is its stiffness because that's where you lose your performance. If you have a soft, bendy mast or yep. anything that has torsional, you're going to feel that when you're riding. So it was really important to come away with a mast that was, that was really stiff and also looks really, really great. Yeah, absolutely. And I think we've accomplished that with this mast. And that's why one of the most exciting things about the Phantasm and, range. And what are these masks going to come in a bunch of different sizes? Yeah, so for the Phantasm kite range specifically, we're running with a, we're coming out just with the 92 and 102 masks. Mm -hmm but there's gonna be a whole fleet of other carbon masks that are gonna come out with other sports categories like winging, windsurfing, et cetera. So this is just the start of the Phantasm range coming to market, but there's gonna to be tons and tons of options to build your own setups and yeah. have the best performance. And the best part about that is um, all this stuff is gonna be interchangeable. So you're gonna be able to swap out masks, swap out wings, swap out yes. fuselages, and everything can be kind of put together in different pieces. So that allows you to have a lot of versatility in your kit as well. Yeah, absolutely. So as we run down from the mast down to the, the fuselage, one of the really special components is that Bigfoot connection. Yeah. So maybe we should talk about that robust connection. Yeah, so we have one here where we're just gonna pop off the bottom here. I'm gonna toss that down. And you can see down here on the bottom, we have a much larger footprint than maybe the cord than our cord length of our mast. And the reason for that is, is this gives us extra uh, stiffness in in the pitch so when you start putting bigger wings on these on these uh, mass you get a lot more torsion and flex going through this piece and so by enlarging the footprint down here we have uh, increased the stability the tracking and as well as the performance of all the wings basically yeah and definitely it's a durability durability factor as well you know this yeah. is going to be a lot more durable so if you're you live in a shallow environment and you're running your foil into the ground every now and then, like that's just gonna be a really robust connection that's really gonna prevent any sort of damage to your foil. So. Yeah, bigger footprint, better foil. Exactly. So then we run to the fuselage. The fuselage is a 7075 aircraft grade aluminum. Um, that's gonna be a really, really strong, robust component. Um, in the kite range, we're gonna have a 710 and a 653. Uh, millimeter fuses. Uh, so that's going to give you different performance on different foils. And so people who might not know, what like what's the difference between a long fuse and a short fuse? Basically, the longer the fuse, more stability. Shorter the fuse, going to start getting into more of a performance coefficient. Okay, so if I'm new and I want some stability, I'm going to go for maybe the longer um, fuselage. And if I want a carviness, I'm going to go with a shorter fuselage. Absolutely. And that's going to allow me, again, to kind of kit out my kit and get it dialed specifically for what I want on the water. Yeah. And we've kind of gone ahead and built these packages based off of optimum performance for what we think the users are going to be. Yeah. Um, and we really wanted to craft that consumer experience to make sure that when you get on one of these foils, it's perfectly tuned, perf perfect geometry for exactly what you're looking to get out of them. Yeah. And, and just something to note on this as well, you can notice the, the attention to hydrodynamic detail. So you see the really smooth entry of the nose. So that's really important when you're, when you're pushing through the water. You also see from the side here, you have this kind of scalloped mounting plate and that allows us to put multiple wings on this as the cord length of the wind gets longer. So as the wings get thicker, they still integrate into this, into this aluminum fuselage. And then as well, the big foot slots into here, which gives you more roll stability and uh, also gives you a much smoother hydrodynamic connection. Yeah, absolutely. And is there gonna be um, some, some rear wing options too? Like if I wanna trick out my, my stabilizer? Yeah, there will be some rear wing options, okay. but what's really awesome right now is all these run off of the PS400 rear wing stabilizer. 
um, and that's gonna be a shimless stabilizer, so you're not having to deal with any extra hardware, just two bolts right in. Um, and basically, when you're shimming stuff, you know, you're altering performance, but you're also gonna increase some drag. Yeah. So these are tuned straight out of the box to be perfect with all the front wings to provide just maximum performance and great feel on the water. Yeah, and that's great because that means I can just swap out my front wing. I don't have to worry about getting a whole new front and back exactly. wing, and they, and they work really great. Um, so why don't we go ahead and delve into the three different packages that we have here and kind of talk about, you know, what they're the best for and maybe who they're the best for. All right, now that we've spoken about the construction of the Phantasm, we're going to touch on each one of these foil platforms and what they do and who they're perfect for. Yeah. So basically we have three different setups. We're going to have the Phantasm 633 kite package. This is the Phantasm uh, 730 kite package and then the Phantasm 657 kite package. So rather than thinking of this as being kind of your, your more entry level foil and then going up in performance the whole way, um, we're going to kind of, it's more of a, these are kind of more parallel paths. So yeah. this 633 package is going to be a, the best, most all around entry level, all the way through almost intermediate advanced foil. And then basically as you progress and get better, these packages are going to be kind of, you choose exactly what you want, where the 730 is going to be speed and stability, and then the 657 is going to be speed and maneuverability. Yeah, okay. Um, so I'm pretty familiar with this 633. I see it on the water all the time. What, what about this 633 is, is better than the one that I have? At, like, is, is it an improvement? Is it the same thing? What's going on here? I'd love to know about it. Yeah, no, this, is the, this 633 is a completely different wing and front wing package um, than the 633s that are out on the market right now. Mm -hmm. Um, so what we've redone is really the geometry of the wing um, to actually make it more user friendly, but at the same time add a lot of performance. Um, so what we've added are these really nice downturn wing tips here. Um, and what these winglets are going to do is they, first and foremost, they're going to provide some safety. Yeah, okay, yeah. Just so you're not falling on a really sharp carbon blade, that's really going to help, especially yeah. if you're kind of more on the entry level. But what they also do is they actually add tons and tons of stability. Yeah. So one of the complaints that we had about the 633 and that other 633s have is they have a lot of almost slippiness in the yaw. Yeah, yeah, I felt yeah. that when, I, when I've when i ridden them before. Yeah, yeah, so that stability, when you add these winglets, it's greatly improved. So you're gonna get better tracking, um, which also means better stability when you're going faster. Yeah. Um, but what it also really does is when you're learning how to switch your feet, doing some jibes and tacks, it's really going to provide just a much more stable platform for you to get everything that you want. Yeah, it's like it's comfort. It's it's adding comfort at speed. It's adding comfort at um, and stability. And that confidence is going to transfer to all of your riding, whether that's you can ride faster, you can jibe easier, you can tack easier. Yeah. Um, I know this wing has a lot of low speed float for so people that are thinking, oh, you know, I'm coming out of my turn. I still need to keep on the foil. Um, this wing provides a lot of confidence in those maneuvers and that yeah. it's always going to keep providing lift and it's going to be really comfortable and like you said, stable. That's the most important thing, I think. Yeah, absolutely. And kind of what this magical wing does is it's equal parts lift, um, speed, maneuverability, and stability. Stability. So when you have that magic blend, you're getting, it's kind of like the most intuitive wing that we have because it basically knows what you want to do just by you know, before yeah. you even know, really. Is, um, it, is it, it's like the wing for my grandma? My grandma could foil on this thing? I mean, your grandma might be able to foil Any, on this thing. If anyone can foil anyone, on this wing. Anyone can foil on this thing, and that's really what we focused on, and that's why the 633s have been notoriously great in the marketplace, yeah. but this 633 kind of takes it to the next level with added comfort added stability yeah so um, just tons of confidence and if you're if you're looking to get on the water maybe it's your first time foiling or or you're just yeah. starting to learn this thing's got a ton of room to grow on Absolutely. And, and you're not going to be maxed out and you're going to feel really comfortable on this foil for a really long time yeah and we and talk then, to, we talk so much about versatility with this wing yeah because it's going to be if you want to kind of go fast if you want to kind of do slow maneuvers you're going to be able to get everything out you of might that even wing. be able to wing on that thing you know you, you, you could never know. You could. it's got a lot of uh, versatility so let's say okay i've got my phantasm 633 i'm feeling pretty good i'm like i've been riding it for like a year i'm kind of ready to upgrade i want something more dynamic i want to go kind of faster 
and we, you said we have two paths here. So let's talk about the first path here is the Phantasm 730. Yeah. Um, and maybe I can talk about it because I've had a lot of time riding yeah, this please. one. So for me, what I find really great about the, the 730 is the glide. So this is a higher aspect wing, as you can see. Maybe you want to hold that one up yeah, so people definitely. can see the difference. Those of you that aren't familiar with high aspect or aspect ratio, it's the cord, which is the thickness versus the span, which is the width. So you can see thin and wide, thick, so what that means is this, this um, foil is going to have a lot of glide and a really good high speed. Yep. But because it has so much span, we're also going to get a lot of lift out of the lifting edge. So it's, it's quite surprising how slow you can actually go yeah. on this foil. And then as soon as you want to gas it up, you can go very fast. Yeah. And the best thing about this is the stability exactly. at speed. Because of this nice spanny shape, you have a nice longer... Um, like back here, this area, oh. yeah. you get uh, a lot more stability as you start to increase the throttle. Yeah. Um, and I think that's the most important thing because I think when people think, oh, I'm getting on a fast wing, I need to be really in control, I need to be really on it. But the 730 really provides a really comfortable platform for you to push, push yourself on the water. Definitely. Yeah. And it's kind of a natural evolution as well. Like once you get onto this, there's really not much of a transition period. You get on it, you instantly feel that sensation of lift that you're kind of used to from the 633, mm -hmm. but you have so much stability as well. So even as you're going fast, you're not really ever kind of freaking out as feeling twitchy or that any of your movement is going to like really kind of throw you off balance. So that's something that we really focus on with that wing is that, oh, you know, it's definitely, you look at it, it's very high aspect, but we want to make sure that people aren't intimidated by high yeah. aspect. And um, it's such an exciting wing because I think you and I can both say, like, it makes your transitions so fun. Oh, there's so much glide. Yeah, so much glide. Yeah. You have plenty of time to switch your feet if that's what you're doing, or just really long, drawn out, even upwind tacks. Yeah. Really long downwind jibes. It's, in, it's insane. I, I find myself having to, like, change a little bit how I fly my kite because I'm going so fast and yeah. covering so much distance. Yeah. And, you know, I have to change my timing a little bit with my kite, and I, I'm, I'm in love with this foil. This thing for me is, like, it can't really get much better yeah, than that. Yeah, this for I me. think was the most surprising wing during development. Yeah. You know, as, as we were testing all the different options and how to like really p make these packages perfect, I think when we found this wing, um, we were just, wow, we've really found something really special as far as like an intermediate to advanced foil that still has a lot of performance for still kind of the person, maybe a little bit, maybe not so much entry level, but kind of progressing past. Yeah, yeah, and they want to go fast, but they want to feel confident going fast. Exactly. Now, why is this one on a longer um, mast? Like, what's going on there? Yeah, I mean, so basically when you have a longer mast, you're going to have a lot more leverage. Mm -hmm. um, and when you have a wing with such a long span, you want to have more leverage over that wing yeah. so it's easier to maneuver Absolutely. underwater. I yeah. also find for me, the longer the span gets, I need when I want to hike over and really go upwind, the longer the mass gets, the less likely I am to burp my tip out of the water yep. and kind of like get some cavitation. So yep. it makes sense. We get a little bit of a spannier wing. We go up a little bit in mass length. Not only do I have more dynamic up and down, but yep. I also have more range in how I can lay the foil over yeah. and turn. Exactly. You're going to have a lot more leverage and you're going to be able to get on rail a lot yeah, more okay. with the 102 okay. for sure. So we've nailed the 730. Um, we we'll really feel confident about that one. And what's this, what's this bad boy over here? Yeah, so this is the... This is the Phantasm 657 package. And basically with this wing, you're gonna see a little bit more of a medium aspect design, but the wing is smaller um, in span. And what that really is gonna do is it's gonna be a lot more maneuverable. So if you think about it in these two parallel paths you're gonna have with the 730, that's gonna be your speed and stability. Whereas the 657 is gonna be your speed and maneuverability. Yeah. Um, you know, what you might look at these two things and say like, oh, which one you think by looks is going to be faster. I would say most people would say the 730 over yeah. here is faster, but contrary to what you might see with your eyes, this uh, Phantasm 657 is actually way faster, yeah. way more dynamic. Definitely. It's looser in the roll, it's looser in the yaw, which means for those of you that really like to push into your turns um, and really have that connected high speed fun railing kite foil yeah this is this is in that book a, a little bit more say than the phantasm yeah. this is going to be change of direction yeah quick pivoty turns this yeah. is like what fred hope rides this is this his is, yeah this is his dream setup really um and i find riding it again it's really stable and really smooth i think the biggest thing i notice is the the glide on the 730 is a little bit longer yeah. than my glide on my 
on my um, 657. Yeah. This but this thing, when I go to lay it on rail because it doesn't have so much span, it's just, it's so fun to carve and, and be really agile with. Yeah. And I think that's where it really stood out for me was, was the ability to just just go wherever I want and like it, it listens so quick yeah. and it's so dynamic. Yeah. yeah, it's almost, you know, you get the drawn out turns with the 730, you're kind of getting the exact opposite with the, the, the 657. You're wanting to really rip them around super fast, super quick and be able to, you know, that pivoty change of direction yeah. is kind of where you feel the magic. Cause yeah. all of a sudden the instant that you think about turning, the you're already turning. turning. Yeah. yeah, it's like almost like a big mountain snowboard lines on this one, a little bit more drawn out, high speed, yep. full tilt, where this one is a little bit more like a, like an all around snowboard where you can really carve closed seas and, and really shred on it. Yeah. So uh, I think the three packages, what I'm uh, most impressed is it offers something for everybody. So Absolutely. you have someone who wants a cruisy, really easy to ride stable wing. You have someone who wants a really glidey fast but confidence inspiring wing. Yep. And then you have someone who just wants to push their kite foiling to the limits. Yep. They wanna go really fast. They wanna be dynamic on the water. And I think those three really round out the feels that you're looking for um, yeah. on the water. No, it's a comprehensive setup for anybody and everybody who is into foiling uh, yeah. and kiteboarding. So we're really proud of that. And we really, we really love our offering. Um, and then maybe we'll run quickly just through the specs um, of all the different components of these packages. So the 633 package, it has our PFI 633 front wing, our PS400 stabilizer that is consistent with all the foils in the kite range. And then this one has the 710 millimeter fuse on it. So this is the longer fuse than And again, all the that gives you pitch stability. Exactly. So when you're learning, you know, when you're getting that bucking Bronco, the longer that fuselage gets, the easier it is to control that, that Absolutely. pitch instability. So Absolutely. a little bit more beginner friendly. Definitely. And, yep. um, and then, yeah, you have the 92, um, centimeter, uh, your, your, uh, 12 K dual mast. carbon core mass. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And, um, what about the hardware stainless Torx? stainless Torx hardware for, for every single part. So it's just one tool, Great. no longer having three different tools Great. For, for the whole setup. Wonderful. Um, and then the 102 setup. So basically the 657 has a 102 centimeter dual carbon core mass. It has a 653 millimeter fuselage. So just a shorter fuselage that's gonna give you more, more dynamic maneuverable performance. dynamic performance. Yep, yeah. and then it has the PFH 657 front wing, PS400 stabilizer like all the other packages. Mm -hmm. um, and then as you move into 730, basically the same exact setup, 102 12K dual carbon core mast, 653 fuselage once again, PS400 stabilizer, and then the PTM 730 yeah. front wing. Yeah, okay. So the packages are all named after their front wings because yeah. that, that's really what's going to really dictate That's the, the meat and the potatoes it's, of the performance exactly. right there. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm really looking forward to everybody getting to try these out. Yeah, um, absolutely. I encourage people, if you can, to, to try a few different ones yep. um, to make sure you can hone in on which one fits and feels right for you as we have three you know, diverse feels in the line. And uh, like you said, you know, you start at the... 633 you kind of do a branching y you want to go fast and dynamic you want to go fast and stable yeah and i think these two offer a really great feel so i'm really excited for people to get their hands on these and yeah and, i can't oh, wait man. for everybody to start riding them and uh yeah we're, we're gonna see everybody on the water yeah we look forward to seeing you soon awesome thank you so when you buy your phantasm kit obviously you're not just getting the phantasm parts and pieces does it come in a bag or is there anything that i can yeah does it come in a bag? It absolutely does come in a bag. You get this nice, convenient carrying case. Um, once it zips open, you have basically all of your componentry all perfectly labeled in a nice padded case. So it's super easy, a lot of durability here. It really protects everything about the package. And what's great is it comes with those wing covers, which is really great on the fly protection. Super easy to put on, take off, neoprene, really great. Easy peasy. Yeah, and you mentioned what's really cool about the slip is that you have access to take your wings off while you have the cover on there. Yeah, so by leaving that little negative space in the in the zip covering, you're able to cover your wings to protect them, take them off, and then they're always protected. You know, yeah. your nice expensive carbon isn't gonna get scratched or dented or dinged. Exactly, so it's a really premium package that comes in a nice premium bag, a premium product so that it can maintain its lifespan as long as you wanna have it in your quiver. And easy to travel with as well. Absolutely. Yeah.